appreciate that this morning, all that's going on around the church. Uh, I tell you, this, this spot out here in the parking lot, it continues to grow. It looks bigger than it did last week, and y'all are doing a wonderful job with that. We're so excited about vacation Bible school coming up, and we're praying for our directors, and I know that you are. But most of all, this morning, if you're here and never have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, we hope and pray this is the good day, the good hour, that you come and accept him before it's everlasting too late. When you feel that tug at your heart's door, that's when you need to come to the saving grace and knowledge of Jesus. Just ask him to save you, and he will this morning. This morning, Brother Logan Samples is here with us this morning. I know y'all love Logan, and I do also. We called him yesterday and asked if he'd be willing to come and stand and preach this morning, and certainly he said he would. I know he stands in need of your prayers this morning. So y'all pray for Brother Logan as he comes around and shares what the Lord has laid upon his heart this morning, Brother Logan. certainly is an honor this morning to be in the house of God one more time. Church, I want to say something to you, not for anything of my own, but that of fear in my life. This is the greatest thing that I fear in my life. There's a lot of times that I've been in a church house to where... Uh, this morning that uh, I've been scared uh, beyond anything that I could uh, imagine. And I want you to realize this morning that a lot of you know who I am and what I do for a living. And I want to tell you this morning, there's been times where I have been in places that uh, were about to blow up from gas leaks and what have you. But I'm here to tell you that it didn't scare me. Uh, no, not because I'm a bold man or I'm courageous, but but simply because I've been saved by the grace of God. And I hope and I pray this morning uh, that you have what I have. And I, if you live to read that of my obituary, uh, uh, this morning I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt in my heart that this sinner boy from Forsyth County has what it takes this morning uh, to reach that of a heavenly home. And I hope and I pray above all else uh, uh, that you do as well, that you wouldn't leave in this condition that you're in if you're lost and undone. If you have your Bibles this morning and want to read along, we'll be in the third chapter of John and uh, some fairly familiar scripture as we uh, began to awake uh, on Saturday morning. The thought uh, about Nicodemus here uh, uh, came on our hearts and I certainly realized uh, uh, very quickly that I was going to have to deliver it somewhere and it wasn't uh, uh, just but a few moments later in time that Brother Donnie called us and uh, God being our helper this morning, we're going to try to get out of the way that of another time. Uh, I certainly desire your prayers this morning. If you have your Bibles and you want to read along, we'll start in the first verse of the third chapter. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter into the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus saith, answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which of born is flesh is flesh, and that which of born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. Go it, so is every one that is born of the spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak 
that we do know and testify that we have seen and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, that which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And may God add his richest blessings to the reading of his word. And we're going to try our best, beloved, this morning to uh, get out of the way that of another time. And uh, I begin to think about Nicodemus there. And if you read and study about him, he was a, a ruler of the Pharisees. And if you read in your scripture, as we just did, he came to Jesus uh, uh, by night as if he was ashamed uh, uh, to go see him, that he didn't even believe in his own doctrine there. And I'm here to tell you this morning, there's a lot of people in the world today that uh, believe in their own doctrine, and they uh, don't follow that of what Jesus has for them to do today, and I'm not telling you, church, that I'm one uh, uh, that follows them to a T, because I'm just a sinner uh, uh, this morning saved by the grace of God, uh, and I hope and pray that you are as well, and I begin to think about uh, uh, what a bold step it took uh, for Nicodemus there. Uh, to go see Jesus. Uh, I'm sure he had heard uh, all about him, uh, all about all the miracles and all the parables he was already uh, uh, speaking. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt in my heart that he knew uh, that he was the Son of God. Uh, I believe without a shadow of a doubt in my life that if you haven't been born again, uh, you know uh, that Jesus is the Son of God uh, and you must accept him this morning, beloved. I'm glad today that when I was a 10-year-old boy, I came to the realization that I was lost and undone, but I believed upon him. I had more faith then than I do now, but I'm glad, church, that it doesn't take a whole lot of faith to follow the Lord and to be saved. I've seen many children, men and women in a church house, I take the first step step, uh, brother, and they had it right then, I believe. Uh, uh, they got what it took. Uh, I can't testify for them. Uh, they must testify for themselves. Uh, but I remember uh, when I asked Jesus uh, to save my soul, uh, it only took three little words, church. Uh, uh, Jesus saved me, uh, and I was born again. Uh, I listened, born of the Spirit. Uh, I listened this morning. Uh, uh, there there's a lot of people in the world. Uh, uh, you can rely on a president uh, or a governor uh, or a county commissioner. Uh, uh, only so much, church. Uh, uh, but it's not going to carry you uh, where the Lord's going to carry you. Uh, uh, listen, this morning, aren't you glad today? that Jesus loves us uh, enough to die on a cross. Uh, you think about that, parents, uh, for just a moment, uh, giving up your only begotten son or uh, maybe your daughter uh, uh, to die uh, uh, for some people uh, that may not even accept him. Uh, uh, what love that God has uh, for you and I today. Uh, uh, listen, you must be born Again, that's the thought this morning. That's the anthem today of the Christian way. You must be born again. I'm glad today, church, Jesus knew exactly who Nicodemus was. He told him right there, aren't you a master of Israel? Listen, he was taunting him there. You may be a big wig wherever you work, and that's a good thing. I'm not saying that it's not, but Jesus knows you this morning. He knows your heart better than you do. Aren't you glad this morning that you have a way out of this place? One of my dear friends who just went on to be with the Lord, praise be unto God today. He's rejoicing, and one of these days, I'm going to get to see him again. Aren't you glad today, church, for the loved ones who have gone on before us, that you're going to get an opportunity 
to see him again. I've heard a lot of people say they got a lot of questions for the man upstairs when they get there. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt in my heart that I'm not going to be worried about nothing. I want to make that journey over. I'm just going to want to see that of Jesus, the one who came and died for a little old sinner like me. How worthless that I feel each and every time that I think about him I laying on that cross hanging by a nail I listen today if that's not love what is it then listen this morning church do you have what it takes I know I believe that revival's coming I know that but why can't it start today this nation is in dear need of a revival we've seen it over the past year listen you and I are being attacked as Christians and you know why that is because Satan knows uh, this morning how real uh, the God that you and I serve is this morning. Aren't you glad today? Uh, I begin to think uh, as I read this little bookmark uh, about the foundation of my life, and I'm not uh, lifting anybody up above anybody else, uh, but it was a testimony uh, of my mother and my father's wedding day uh, about how uh, they had a journey to go on, uh, and they're still on it today. I'm glad today, church, uh, that I was in a foundation of a Christian home, so it was easy for me to believe upon him because my mama and daddy raised me in a church house. Aren't you glad today, church? I've had that. It's a blessing to me to see all these children in the church house because they're going to have to go through things that you and I didn't have to. The world is conforming around evil today. They're not falling following what God has founded upon. Uh, uh, but listen, uh, it takes you and I today uh, uh, to be bold. Uh, uh, if you read about Nicodemus on, he stands up for Jesus. Uh, I believe it's in the 19th chapter. Uh, he stands out for him and he anoints his body. Uh, uh, listen, he was converted there. Uh, he was bold. He uh, changed his ways. Uh, uh, listen, I believe he had what it took. Uh, he was born again. Uh, listen, have you been born again this morning? Uh, there's a lot of people that stand in need of you and I today to stand up for what we believe in. And church, I'm preaching to myself this morning uh, because I'm not as bold as I need to be. Uh, but praise be unto God, he's worthy uh, of everything that I've got. Uh, and that's, uh, that's all I can give. Uh, uh, Y'all come around with a song. Uh, I'm just about finished. Uh, but are you born again? Uh, that's the thought this morning. Uh, uh, that's the only thing uh, that's going to matter. Uh, when it comes down to the end, have you accepted him into your heart this morning? If I didn't believe it, I wouldn't stand on it. But I know this morning that I know that I know that I've been born again. And you can take that check to the bank, beloved, because it's going to cash every time. Can you say that this morning, church? I hope and I pray with everything that I've got that you can. Uh, what's your number, brother, as we stand and sing this morning? As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow, many arrows pierce my soul from
appreciate uh, all the, the prayers that been prayed this morning. And you know, whatever know the hearts and minds of people, there may be somebody here this morning that you are pondering upon salvation. In other words, you're thinking in your mind, what's it going to be like when my time comes that I accept the Lord Jesus Christ and just how will I know when I'm lost? I want to share this with you this morning. If you're young or old or whatever your age is this morning, you'll just know. You'll know when you're lost and undone. How can you say that? How can everyone in the church, how can they say that so boldly and think that because they've been where you're at? I thought about that scripture that Logan was preaching to us about this morning, about the Spirit, how the wind bloweth. It's just like the wind blowing the way the Spirit is. I remember what it was like as an eight-year-old boy there at Harmony Grove Baptist Church, standing there and a man of God proclaiming the gospel. I wasn't lost when I went in the church house. But you see, when the Spirit blew in and it began to finger around my heart and my soul, that's when I knew that I was lost and undone. And I had to be saved and born again. I love that scripture that Logan preached about this morning and how he told Nicodemus he got right to the point that you must be born again. The world that we live in today, how they want to argue so many things about God's Word and so much about how you gain salvation. But in the book of John, as Logan has preached unto us this morning, ye must be born again. You must be born of that Spirit and the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you're here this morning and you're pondering in your mind how, listen, how that when you're lost and undone, you'll know it how because it'll get right down on the inside. It'll get right down here in your heart and soul. And then that's when you need to come and accept the Lord Jesus Christ. How, listen, Logan, he mentioned how about growing up in a home of where his parents brought him to church and how precious that it is. Oh, to see these parents make the effort to get up. How to bring these small children to the house of God. How but I'll assure you one thing. How I know you're proud of them. How but you'll be how so proud some of these days. How well when they walk the aisles. How whether it's at crossroads or wherever it's at. And bow the knees of their heart. And ask Jesus to save them. How nothing's wasted when it's done. How for the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe if someone doesn't come today, I believe the Lord tarries is coming. How we're going to see a harvest come around Crossroads Baptist Church. Come lost boys and girls, men and women coming and being saved by the marvelous grace of our Lord and Savior. Oh, I'm excited this morning. How listen, I get excited. How I listen to the gospel that's been preached this morning. Come around Brother Logan. I sent through God this morning. It's Taylor saying another verse of song. If you're lost, just come and be saved. Church, if there's anything you need to do, just follow that spirit this morning. As it's here, God help us be great. God bless you. May be the time. But I pray for folks to get. He will give me light. Satan stares me begs my soul turn my thoughts aside but my lord goes ahead leads whatever be tied oh i want to see him look upon his face there to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of
Oh, the Bible says that today is the day of salvation. Just step out and come and accept the Lord Jesus Christ. All that's willing and want to come this morning and let's pray. Saved, the Lord's dealing with your heart and soul. Yeah. Oh, you can have a testimony of you? If you just bow and ask the Lord in your heart and in your soul. Anything else this morning before we pray? Johnny, again, I'd like to thank you. Lord, for saving my soul. Bless you. Oh, so I was ready to come to you. Oh, I still, I said it this morning. I'm for all these young. Young parents yes. trying to bring children up in a totally different world. But so thankful for a church family that also wraps their hand arms around them. Yes. It takes a village. Yes. And thank goodness we have this little place on the side of the road as part of our village. Bless you. Anyone else this morning? I'm going to ask the chairman of Redekas to come around and lead this prayer. Brother Joy. Let's just all pray. Our kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we yes. thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to look at the house for many times, God. God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you, Lord, brought us to this place, Lord, with our relationship. We can gather, God, and with all strength and comfort from one another, God. We pray for each and every one, God, that has these prayer requests, Lord, Lord, those that are spoken to God, that are unspoken to God, we pray for each and every one, God, you know their are needs, Lord, we pray that you be pleased. God, send strength to come from them, that you don't know, Lord, that you see. God, each and every one of those that's lost loved ones, God, we pray for them, God. We pray that you come from God and give us a heart here in the God, we pray for this church, God. We pray for that activity. God, we pray for that activity. 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 We pray, Lord, that she oh, Lord, that she pray see that of her mom and daddy. Oh, God, I'm bringing her up in a church house. Oh, God, and I, I pray for all these young people, God, that, oh, Lord, are coming up in this world today uh, about how there's things uh, uh, going on in the world today and uh, about how there's uh, things being taught in school that, uh, God, was never mentioned when I was coming up. God, I pray uh, uh, that conviction would fall down upon the, uh, the mouths of the teachers, uh, uh, God, that are trying to teach these false doctrines today, uh, and about how they would feel that of your power, uh, uh, God, because you have the ability this morning uh, 
for salvation. God, you be with all of these people that are coming up uh, in the world. Uh, and they must face the battles that they're going to face. Uh, uh, God, you be with them. Uh, you wrap your spirit around them uh, as a hedge of protection. Uh, God, I thank you. Uh, forgive me for where I fail you.